Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff from Mercado Spaces. Okay, couple things. Uh, first, I haven't been on here for a while. I haven't produced a video here in a little while. That's gonna change. Uh, things have just been busy over at uh, uh, Wallingford 45, the condo project I'm trying to sell out. And then I've just had a number of things going on here the last couple weeks. But one thing I wanted to bring your attention, you guys probably have noticed uh, both in the blogs, in the news, Nexus, uh, the high rise tower at Stewart and Meyer, Minor in what's kind of considered now the East Village of Seattle. Uh, they just started closing units. And so people have been moving in and all of a sudden, literally within a week or two, you've seen uh, 10 to 12 resale units, units that where those owners had closed and then put the unit immediately on the market. And then you're also seeing almost a dozen rentals in the building. So for any of you guys that want to live in a brand new condo project, in Seattle, you gotta check this site out, uh, Nexus. So I brought on a unit myself with a guy from my office, a friend of mine. Uh, we put on unit 1705, it's on the market for 699. Um, what's interesting, you know, there's a number of storylines right now in the building. Uh, not just that they just opened and that there's all these people moving in and it's the first condo delivery since right. Insignia Towers, but um, this is a this is a pretty cool uh, building. I mean, I want to show you guys around a little bit. I was going to take you down there and give you a tour, but um, I have a new project where I'll be able to show you a bit more of the building. For now, I just wanted to to uh, show you some video and stuff that I took um, in and around the building to kind of get you acquainted with this project if you haven't seen it yet. Um, as I mentioned, we did just put on a unit 1705. It's a one bedroom. Uh, very cool view, Needle, South Lake Union. And so the building itself though, I could see a lot of you guys being kind of uh, interested in it. You know, the, you have a number of different amenities, some really, really impressive amenities. On the 41st floor, you have a library, you have kind of a workstation, a co-work station, you have what they call the Sky Retreat, which is this really, really beautiful space. Big views to uh, the north, to the west. Uh, to the east, you have a rooftop deck that has like this stunning uh, view of South Lake Union and all the way over towards the Space Needle and, and kind of the west side of Seattle, west side of downtown, over into Belltown. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you, you have just kind of this really cool place to hang and chill with your friends and, and enjoy a, a glass of wine on the rooftop deck. And then down on the seventh floor is where you have fitness, so you have a pretty nice gym. I'll show you guys that. You have uh, kind of a media room where you could uh, reserve that space and, and uh, you know, watch a movie or watch a Super Bowl or host a birthday party or whatever. And then also you have this kind of cool assortment of outdoor space and um, the pet relief area. So there's even an area, a, this like, I'll think of like this huge bathtub um, shower to uh, kind of groom your pets, uh, your dogs in the building. So. Um, as you walk into the building, you know, the, the lobby's still kind of being refined and, and they're still finishing the design, the design, but you have a really, what I've noticed has been a very friendly concierge, uh, couple of them that I've met uh, over the last couple of weeks, right off to your left side as you enter the lobby. All of the elevators are, are pretty high tech, so you fob and you hit the floor that you're going to and then it'll tell you whether you're going to be in elevator A, B, C, or D. Um, and then... I don't know. In a nutshell, I think this is a really, really cool project and one that I think you guys should be paying attention to. I'm going to do a thorough review on the building. Um, I didn't sell a lot of the units out of the gate uh, to prospective clients. If I'm being totally honest, I didn't necessarily know if I should believe in the building or not. There wasn't a lot of deck space. Um, it was in a part of Seattle that that um, is it's changing, but. Uh, it's not necessarily um, densely populated right now. There's a lot of like kind of low rise businesses and stuff and it just kind of felt disconnected to the rest of downtown. Now that we're seeing that that part of downtown kind of develop, this it actually makes it a little bit more compelling. There's a really cool gym uh, that's going in right across the street. You got a number of restaurants you can walk to and then you, you are pretty close to Capitol Hill. One thing I do love a lot, I'll tell you guys, and I'll get into more of this, uh, you know, on the next review, but you, some of the views uh, facing out east uh, to the south and some to the north, 
because of the freeway there, you actually have pretty good view protection. So it's not like being down in the central core, retail core of downtown where you're gonna have all of these buildings come up around you. They are gonna have some buildings that, that are rising uh, right around that site that will influence and block some of the views. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. So anyway, I thought I'd just check in with you guys. If you're actively looking to rent and you wanna rent from a condo owner and try a brand new condominium site with, with pretty high technology and great amenity space, check it out. Just thought you guys would wanna know about it. Um, look, pretty simple video, just shot it here from my home office. I'm gonna get into some more vlog stuff here in the next couple weeks, but wanted to check in with you guys. If you liked the video, do me a favor, hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and uh, talk to you guys soon. See ya.